Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Great Age Workshop. Back at it again, this time uh, with a repair job on a global knife. Uh, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see it. Uh, there's quite a big chip out of this one, uh, just just there. It's gone all the way th all the way through the bevel. Uh, so I'm going to work on fixing that up and getting these knives sharpened. It's actually part of a set of four. Uh, the other three are behind me. I showed them uh the, the other night in my in my video about batching for for sharpening so it's i'm going to do these in in two rounds the, the larger knives first uh, and then and then the smaller ones uh to get this chip out well once upon a time i used to use the side uh, i've got a cbn 80 on here and i used to use the side of the of the cbn wheel and just just grind it off but uh what i found was if i've gone down flat to and, and cleared the cleared the chip by coming up flat uh, it was just a bit too extreme. I ended up having to remove too much metal because then I'd come up flat until the chip's gone and then from there start building back an apex. So uh, now what I do is is sharpen at an angle but go for a very steep angle. So I've set this to around 30 degrees per side. Not exactly because that, that's not the point. The point is just to be uh, at, a, at a very steep angle and I'll go back and forth uh, until I've gotten rid of the uh, until I gotten rid of the chip. Then I'm going to lower this and set this properly to my target sharpening angle. Uh, it's going to be 18 degrees for the for this set of knives. I'll work till I'm close to reaching a reaching a burr on the coarsest stone here, but then pick up from there with my usual protocol, 160 grit uh, and onward. So I don't normally show the sharpening process, and I'm not going to show the full sharpening process here because I just think it's too long to watch somebody sharpen a knife on a, on a Tormac. Uh, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to get going, do a couple of passes each side, uh, and then we'll we'll fade away and, and I'll come back towards the end, maybe let you know how many passes it took. I, I expect it's going to be a little while because that's 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 quite a big chunk. But anyway, uh, without further ado, uh, off we go. Oh, one other thing, uh, just, just to mention, if you, if in my older videos where, you, where I have done a little bit of sharpening on camera, you'll see I normally go uh, heel to tip on one side, then flip it over, heel to tip on the other side, and I do that alternating path. Uh, just to ensure that I'm always working back, keep, keeping the apex in the center, not over grinding one side and moving moving the apex over. Uh, but because I know I've got a lot of work to do, I'm actually going to do uh, some some extended passes. So I'll go heel tip back to the heel, back to the tip, and then flip uh, and and go at it that way. And it just allows me to do a little bit of more work in a, in a shorter amount of time. Anyway, uh, enough talking for now. I'm going to crack on with sharpening again. I'll, I'll show you a couple of passes uh, and then skip forward to towards the end of this part and, and rejoin with you. Okay, stay tuned. <laughs> Three passes, I'll do the same on this side uh, and then carry on from there. water tray a little bit uh, okay and so on and so on I'll, uh, I'll, I'll carry on here and, and see you in a little bit all right uh, back now 
That was quite a bit of work. Uh, I did say I was going to count the number of uh, passes I did, but I sort of lost track. I think it's probably about 12 sets, something like that. So uh, th three in one side, flip it over, three on the other, counting that as one set. So that means um, 36 passes on each side. But the chip is gone. Uh, so that's probably not going to show up. Uh, well, it's gone anyways. <laughs> Nothing to see. Uh, but anyway, that's the... That's the chip out. I've reset now. Done, done the calculations. Lowered the uh, lowered the universal support bar to one eighty two point four eight millimeters. If you're playing along at home, uh, which with the projection distance I'm going for one hundred fifty millimeters and knife thickness of zero point eight works out to eighteen degrees per side. Uh, my target for these knives. Uh, only small tip to mention is don't forget when you've done a lot of grinding like that. I, I started it out with 150 degrees uh, projection distance, sorry, 150 millimeters projection distance. Uh, but because of all the metal I've removed, it was actually, the knife ended up, the projection distance reduced uh, uh, quite a bit. So a two mil or so. So now that I've reset to 18, I needed, needed to check again the projection distance and by winding, winding out the support, I got it back to 150 so that my calculations will work, will, will be okay when I switch over to the uh, honing with the frontal vertical base, everything will line up. Um, but anyway, I'm going to crack on again now. Uh, so I'm still on the CBN 80 uh, and I'm going to do a little bit of grinding until I'm just about ready to form an apex. I don't want to do, I think, I think 80 is, is too rough to be working too hard at the apex. So uh, I'm just going to get as close as I can to an apex, maybe just start to feel the beginnings of a burr and then switch to 160 and on I go grinding, honing, leather strop, done. Uh, and I think the customer is going to be really happy with this because it was quite, uh, quite beat up when I got it. Uh, I'm going to leave it there though. Um, I'm not going to continue with the, with the sharpening. Uh, I think you've seen the, the most relevant bits for this repair. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you found something useful, uh, please do uh, hit the thumbs up button. A like is very much appreciated, very useful for this growing channel. Uh, and if you're not already a subscriber and would like to see more, uh, hit the subscribe and the bell button and you'll be notified each time I release a new video. Okay, uh, that's all for now. Thanks very much for tuning in and see you again soon.